Meghan Markle's celebrity friend, Melissa McCarthy, has defended her amid criticism of her American Riviera Orchard brand, calling her an inspiring woman suffering hate for getting on with her own life. Meghan's launching a lifestyle business by giving away 50 limited edition jars of a strawberry jam to her inner circle, who've shared influencer-style pictures of them on Instagram. However, some critics have ridiculed the branding concept. One person bought up American Riviera Orchard's domain name in the UK and used it to link to a food bank's GoFundMe which has raised more than £21,000 in donations in a week. Speaking at the Broadway opening of Suffs last week, comedian Melissa McCarthy said criticism of Meghan is because people are threatened by her, adding that Meghan is wonderful and awesome. She said, It bums me out, every woman and every person, that for no reason people just like to attack. A smart, interesting woman that has her own life, for some reason, is incredibly threatening to some people. She told Page Six, I always think, how inspiring. I've never once been threatened by someone who's amazing. I just think, how inspiring. It's really on the people throwing the hate. No one's threatened by or jealous of the utter failure, delusional lying duchess. She has a title from and formerly worked as a representative of the family that's responsible for the front line of international diplomatic relations of a foreign country. A country of which she's not a citizen. She tries to present herself and her husband as still official representatives of that family. Tries to insert herself into diplomatic events and places on the back of her or his title. And has demonstrated an active vendetta against the family. She's incredibly threatening, so don't play that she's harmless. But no, not smart, not interesting, and her life revolves around attempts to upstage her husband's estranged family. Megan is neither smart nor interesting and nowhere near successful. She's that deranged villain in a soap opera that seems to always resurface. Except she's a one-woman soap opera and we can't stop watching because it's fascinating to see what crazy shit she'll script for herself next. Melissa's got to be getting something out of defending Megan. WME made her say it. But where was she defending Megan since 40 by 40? Megan has had tons of fuck-ups in the meantime. Where was Melissa after the Harkles New York City car chase? Why didn't she offer her public support of Meghan after the Spotify executive called them grifters? The Sussexes were too hot to defend then, and none of their Hollywood friends would touch them with a 10-foot pole. But now WME thinks enough time has passed, and they've assured their clients that the Meghan relaunch is on. So predictable. It's the 2019 Sunshine Sacks playbook all over again. And don't forget McCarthy wore that ridiculous cabbage hat mocking the late Queen on Meghan's 40th birthday, for her another abandoned filled project, 40 by 40. Melissa has yet to show if she's received the jam. How much do you want to bet that Meghan didn't even send her jam from Arrow? What is intriguing about this is how it seems like Meghan's nudging McCarthy to make the statement. It's pretty clear. What's odd is that Meghan Markle doesn't typically attract press attention unless she's orchestrating it, making this somewhat of a reverse Barbara Streisand effect. In essence, Meghan Markle is inadvertently drawing attention to the widespread dislike towards her, something that isn't typically a mainstream media focus by prompting notable individuals to speak out about the animosity directed at her.